Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine and welcome back to Tunic. Today we're going to be heading back over to this western zone because, well, there's a lot more to explore. And we just barely dipped our toes in there. Uh, do we, wait, do we go over here? I don't think we went over here by the windmill. I'm already forgetting what I did. <laughs> no, we didn't go into this windmill. Uh, that water is a little weird. That is... Okay, maybe that's not water. That might be the thing that's, like, driving the windmill. <laughs> it just looked like a weird cubic water flowing. <laughs> uh. Okay, question marks are accurate. What is this? Should I be concerned? I am very concerned. Is this... Friend? This is a friend. Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't... Why would I want the dynamite when I can get an extra healing potion, right? I'm gonna say healing potion. Three... Okay, I assume that I had that. How much money do I have? <laughs> uh... Uh... Wait... Hold... Okay, there we go. 325... I could buy more. I could buy more. How much is this? 100? Yes. Three of those. Oh, I can buy more. Um... Oh my god, is there more here? This is very odd. <laughs> There's just some weird giant fox skeleton inside a windmill selling me stuff. Okay. That's normal. Wait, do I have... Am I carrying a potion right now? Why am I carrying a potion? That seems a little weird. What it, uh... Okay, I guess it's the last thing that you pick up, but if that's the case, why wouldn't I be holding a bomb? Whatever. <laughs> These are minute details compared to a giant fox skeleton that I just saw. All right, so we're up top. This is starting to come back to me now. Whoa. Oh, there's the bell right there. That's... Uh, I might have to go past that auto bolt turret deal. That's probably what I have to do. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need a shield to get over to that next tower. Hmm. This door doesn't open, right? Right. I'm having to re-familiarize myself at, in this new session. <laughs> It was a little bit since I last played. Ooh! Okay. That's fine. Couple hits is... That's totally normal. Ooh! Oh, that's right. There's three of you. Why didn't I equip any bombs? Okay. And perfect. Okay. Let's equip some bombs. Put them there. Yeah. I feel like this is not going to be a consumable and more of an ingredient. So I'm going to leave that be. Alright, let's not waste the bombs. We will use... Oh, okay. Let's use it. <laughs> and did I just throw it over? I threw it in the water. Ah. <sighs> and here I was saying, let's not waste it. Let's go ahead and use it. And what do I do? I waste it while I try and use it. These ones are a little awkward though. You kind of throw it a little further than you would expect compared to the incendiary bombs. Well, even the magic ice bombs, those ones are pretty direct. 
Get out of here. Still don't understand what these are about. But I'm just going to assume that I need something else. Alright, so we are down here. We went in the door. And there's a scary turret up there. Which I... I don't know if we can just take it out without the shield, or if we need the shield to take it out. Like, I maybe. The shield might just be extra protection so we can take it out, but I'm not going to risk it right now. There's more to explore down here. Take this. Oh, right. I remember that attack. Oh my god. Please, no. Can I just take your shield? Oh, enough with the swiping. There we go. You would think I'd be able to take that shield, but I guess not. And this... This is all new territory. Whoa! Oh, sh Got him. I wasn't worried. Door? Oh, come on. This is a door. This is gonna open. I just need to figure out how. Also, how do I get this tutorial page? I can't jump. Eh. Oh, there's another green. Oh, he's got a key down there. Well, I'll save my bombs for him. I wish I had an incendiary bomb, but maybe we can make do. Oh, they're aware. They're so aware, but he's just gonna sit down there and I'm fine with that. No! Can't those projectiles hit you guys? Come on. Suddenly, all these enemies are allies. They just don't like fox people. Well, that actually went really good. I should heal. I gotta pay attention to that. <laughs> oh, right. This is the other side. We went over there thinking that we could actually go further, but it was just a dead end. Oh. Don't mind if I do. What is this? Oh, this is a short... Oh. I was wondering what the L2 was for. Oh, you went through the door. Come on. So this was all just a little shortcut. Well, that's neat. I guess we can go back to the shrine if we want, but we don't really need to right now. We've only healed once. We gotta take out this green knight. And I've got two sticks of dynamite just for him. Ah, uh, let's get you. I don't want anyone flanking me. Oh, that's a turret. How do you know I'm here? I'm behind a wall. That's definitely got to be cheating. Okay. Bomb. That is one good shield. Throw it behind. I <laughs> threw it, like, right under his shield. Wait, how many... I feel like we're not wasting our bombs. I could have sworn we only had two left. But I'll take it. Uh, yeah, give it. Old house. Is it that one door that I couldn't open? Because that's all I'm gonna check. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go back and check that. There it is. Now, please, just open. And give me a shield while you're at it. Okay, that's one step down. Come on, loot. Oh! Well, I'm just gonna call dibs. This will be my new hideout. One. That's fine. Oh. Okay. 
Well, that's a whole new avenue of exploration. Can I break everything in here? <laughs> I am such a little deviant. I just want to break everything. Yeah, we might as well explore this while we're here. It's a little creepy, but... I mean, we're kind of used to that, considering we went to a windmill and saw a giant fox skeleton, so... Yeah. There's gonna be weird stuff. Oh. That's my shield. That is gonna be my shield. Give it. Oh. Oh, we got a shield. <laughs> so now, that's just there. We don't have to equip it, right? Yeah, I think this is just... Well, I can't hover over it, but... I think that's just, uh... Like, standard stuff that's gonna be there. Which is kind of weird. I guess we'll get better swords along the way. This isn't our standard, like, best sword ever. But the shield seems to be somewhat permanent. Huh. Open? So now we should be able to go to that auto turret and maybe activate the next bell. Oh. What's going on here? That shield grows, doesn't it? Well, that's nifty. <laughs> We've got a magic shield. This is an oddly empty room. I mean, that's definitely a door, but it feels like this room is missing stuff for me to interact with. Where? Well, we gotta go under the water pole. Oh. Uh? What was it? Well, I could have gone this way, I didn't realize, but there's nothing back here? It's just a little walkthrough? I guess that's neat. So we could have just circled around and went this way instead. But we would have hit a dead end. Oh, I really wish I knew what these tuning forks were all about. Oh, chest. A tooth? I'm guessing that's an ingredient. Yeah. Yeah, these are probably ingredients. Not gonna mess with them. I mean, maybe I should, but... Whoa, what were you looking at? What? Well, there is something up there, but what is it? Telescope? Nasty enemy? Well, it looks like an elite enemy. Okay. I really... I can't get over how nice that is. <laughs> that he'll look up, like, at points of interest. It's just a nice way to direct your eye. Oh, what are you... Okay, can you not? I gotta use this shield more. Oh, and my health? I really gotta pay attention to my health. I think I'm tankier than I am. Okay, these skulls are kind of scary now. Which ones are going to turn? Oh. Okay, we're safe. Well, again, there's another tutorial page, but I can't... I can't get it. Well, this is a little ominous. I feel like I need a light before I should go in here. Oh my god, it's so dark. Dark tomb. Accurate. I'm gonna leave. I mean, yes, the giant fox skeleton was nice, but I don't think all giant ominous threats, or the appearance of giant ominous threats, are all gonna be nice. So I should just be cautious. Well, they're just gonna sit there by that chest, eh? What if I just sneak over here and stab you? Woo! 
What if I block? Aha! Knockback. Come on. Okay, so the block, it works off of the stamina bar, basically. Which makes sense. Okay, hot peppers. Can't go through. Wait, what is this? Danger. Well, I'll be going there eventually. Uh, up or over here? Let's go over here. Hello. I see you have a shield as well. Oh. Come on. Oh, the bell is right there. Wait, can I go over here? Come on. Oh, it's right here. They did this just so I could stare at it and be like, ah, oh, I can't get it. Yeah, I think, uh, we have to work our way around. Maybe this is gonna lead us right to it. Okay, block. I'm not gonna lie, now that we have the shield, it feels more instinctual to press L2 to block instead of R2. But I'll get used to it. Ooh, wait. Wait. Can I reflect? No, I can just block. Oh, I figured out having vulnerability while opening the chest. Oh my god, my health. Um, I don't think the pepper... Let me look at this again. The pepper, I think, was like an attack bonus. Hot pepper ivy. Attack SP bonus, probably. And fruits are health and magic. So we're just gonna die if we go over there. Yeah, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I was really hoping the blocking would reflect like back to the turret, but it doesn't seem to do that. So we probably just have to get close, get behind it, and then smack it. Can I get some health? Well, we got a flower. We should see if we can interact with these. No, I can't equip it. So there's gotta be a place that we can use that. Is there anything else up here? I mean, I see that gold at the top, and that's gotta be something. Well, there's something in front of it that looks like an item that I can use. Ah, uh, okay. We should probably go back to the shrine then, reset, and then run over here. Okay, well I have to deal with these guys again, but oh please, I ran past the bats thinking they wouldn't keep following. Wait! Oh, they're attacking each other. So not all enemies are aligned, which is nice. Oh wait, I got a bomb back? When did that happen? Hold on. Bomb? <gasps> Where did I even throw that? I thought I dropped it at my feet, but I think I, like, threw it into the wall? Okay. Okay. I wanted to make progress, not go back to the same spot I was. Alright, block. That's one down. I really wish I could just knock them over the edge. <laughs> I hate that they get stopped by the invisible wall. Backstab. No! Ha! Got you. Now we're gonna run over here. We're gonna try and take out that turret. So we just have to pace out our blocking so we can get our stamina back. That's not too bad.
Oh. Uh, these are tuning forks. Why? Do I have to clear the the turrets to make them tuning? I don't know. <laughs> Because I can't interact with them, so I don't know what the purpose is. Oh. Well, that works. What? God, I don't like these schools anymore. Uh, let's open this. Get another shortcut. Oh my god. Here we go again. <laughs> Uh, what can we glean from this? So, shrine on the right there. It looks like we can interact with the shrines to... Sell stuff, maybe? I don't know. Because it looks like... It looks like this chart here is telling us what we can get by selling them. Like, one will give us 100, 2, 150, 3, 200... But it also says at the top, if you seek to increase your power. So maybe these will directly increase our stats by a certain amount. And if that's the case, I'm glad doesn't give me an option to consume them by accident. <laughs> okay. Oh no. <laughs> so that's when we die, which that's a gruesome image. We get sent to the fox lady spirit whatever we get brought back echo of self okay that's when we ran to our spirit coming back you can do it garden knight is that a maybe that's a boss it's right by one of those well what we assume to be a button so maybe those are actually like boss summoning areas for the garden knight try to be this strong three attack three defense <laughs> the image on the right. Whoa. So those are what we should be getting or using to power ourselves up. Yeah, that's what it seems like. So... Wow. I don't see our stats anywhere. Maybe when we go to... the shrine we can see? Let's go there now because if we can power up... We might as well. So apparently we can do this. Oh! See, that is clever. Ever since, like, going to the shrine for the first time, it only gave me the prompt to interact with it to reset the day or whatever. So I never knew that I could interact with it in a different way. I never even tried to open my menu near it, so... Yeah. Well, I think we have to use our money to do this, right? So this will give us more attack. It's weird saying no on the left. Okay. So we're gonna get stronger now. One becomes two. Can we just see that now? Did we learn it? Okay, I like that. Those are our stats down there and what we need to upgrade those stats. So then, because we already saw in the tutorial, the flower will give us more health. And we need to be... Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Force of habit. We need to be... What was it? 3-3 three, three for the Garden Knight. So we'll do this. We might be able to do it again. We might need some more money, though. We're at two. And that's noticeable. I can see that now on the left. Uh, 250. Okay, so we need some more money. This is all starting to come together. The... Oh. The plus one on the dynamite there. That's a little weird. I'm wondering if when we bought from the skeleton fox, if we, like, permanently got a bomb slot. So... At the very least, whenever we reset, we'll have one bomb to work with. Because if that's the case, 
that's pretty nifty. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, let me look at this again. It was, yeah, three, three. But that's three defense. Did it say health or defense? That's health. We don't even have a defense stat. I don't even know how to summon this boss, so I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm even uh, going into the details about my attack power and all that. So like, I need to find this boss first and lock down that location before I need to worry about my stats. Stats are always good, but for this case, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm still learning and exploring. <laughs> Ooh, that only takes three hits now. Oh, that feels so much better. I like it. This could be where the Garden Knight is, I don't know. I don't know how the Garden Knight would be summoned, so... Again, I shouldn't really be worried about it. Maybe it's the Tuning Forks? Actually, maybe it is the tuning forks. Let me go take out this auto bolt turret over here. And we might actually be able to get that bell as well. Okay, quickly. Yes! Well, that was actually really easy. <laughs> I mean, I can see why... Oh, hold on. Finish my thought. I can see why I hesitated the first time coming up here, because, well, for one, I assumed I needed a shield, but, I mean, you could maybe do some damage to it, but you probably would die just trying to fight it without a shield. Oh. Well, that's, that's great, it comes over here, but I don't want to fight this guy. I mean, it could break his shield, probably. What kind? So there's, there's invisible walls here for me and the enemy. But when I throw something, it can fall right over into the abyss. That's all, that's a little upsetting to me. <laughs> uh, holy crap, okay. You can, you can maintain this weird narrow bridge. I will leave. If one attack basically drains my stamina, I am not bothering. Ooh! Well, okay. I now know that they're gonna do the perspective change like in Death's Door. I kind of assumed it based on all the other similarities, but I think that was the first instance where the camera really shifted that way. So how how do we get up to the bell? It looks like we have to go. Oh, oh, I I think I know how. So I remember saying that I thought it was weird that there's a west garden, and the bell tower isn't in it. But I think we might have to go into the west garden and loop back to the bell tower. Okay, okay, so in that case, we should find a way down to get over to the West Garden. Ooh. We didn't go the rest of the way down here, I don't think. We stopped, oh, we stopped short. Yeah, we got the key and we didn't go this way. Or even over here, right? There's a chest there. Oh, come on! Just leave me be! And now you're aggro! Get get out of here. I know you got shield. My shield play is better. Oh. Give me this. Okay, more money. Oh, right. I probably wouldn't have had enough money, but I forgot that I had one of these containers already. Because we should be able to upgrade our health again. Uh, well, we could do it now, actually. Yeah, let's go... 
Well, first, let's go over here. There might be another shrine up ahead. Wait, these guys respawn? Well, that went a lot better this time around. <laughs> Did we... wait. I'm already losing track of what we've seen already. I'm not sure if we fought that. We might have. But we didn't go all the way down here to get this? Okay, what is that? Excuse me, what is that? <laughs> There's nothing here that shows that card. Oh, <gasps> card. So what is this? I don't know what that did. I don't know what that did. Maybe, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna guess based on how it looks. Probably it will allow us to heal more whenever we drink one of the potions. It could be very wrong though. Uh, where haven't we been that we can go over to the West Garden? I mean, there's the Green Knight guy, but did, I thought we saw the other side of that bridge. Maybe not. Maybe we have to take him out. But I don't know how without explosives. Because I don't think... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I can roll past him. Uh, I have no idea if that card is actually giving us more healing. Is there like a secret path around him? Because I really am going to need like a bomb to just break that shield. And then even with that... I'll be in a scary spot because he does so much damage. Let's just go ahead and go back to the shrine. It's gonna- Ooh, Let's avoid you guys. It'll be a little weird starting and ending the episode in the same exact spot, but we haven't run into a ton of shrines, so this will be the best one to start the next episode with. Uh, come on, leave me alone! <laughs> Oh, okay, I think they're going to be reset. Oh, okay. I feel like we made some good progress. I mean, again, it's still a lot, and I mean a lot of learning to do with this game. But it's got my brain firing on all cylinders right now. <laughs> I like the whole challenge of trying to interpret what the game is trying to tell you. Like, the... The whole attack and health and all of that being revealed as another attribute where, yeah, I figured with most of these games you power up, but now it's revealed that I need to find teeth for the attack power, flowers for health, and then I think it was like potion powder or whatever for defense maybe? We'll, we'll have to look at that again in the next episode and try and find that kind of stuff. So... We're going to call it here for now, and when we come back, I guess we'll try and make our way to the West Garden. We'll continue looking in the Western area. We might have to go past that Green Knight, but we'll figure that out in the next episode. So until then, thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.